To determine the age of a quilt, many things have to be considered. First of all, who made it? Do we know when that person lived and when they died? Are there any marks on it, such as dates or quotes or localities? You have to look at the materials that were used to make it as well. In textiles, you not only see the history of textile technology and folk art and women's history, you do see what reflected in, in the objects what was going on at that period in history. It makes you realize that things people make may last forever, but they don't, and gives you a real clue as to what your distant ancestors and how they survived and what materials they had. All museum work is detective work. Cotton, linen, silk, and wool are what we see the most of in this museum, and they all are distinctly different under a microscope. We take a little tiny sample and we put it on a microscope slide. It's similar to high school biology. You put the yarn down there and you pull it apart. You use some refractive index liquid right next to it. You drop a cover slide on it. You put it under the microscope and you bring it into focus and you can tell almost immediately whether it's cotton, linen, silk, or wool. Cotton looks flat and twisted. Wool has scales on it. All wool has scales on it. Silk is clear and irregular. Linen looks like a bamboo shoot. It's straight with little bamboo type marks in it. And synthetic fibers, such as nylon, polyester, acrylic, Kevlar, they can be made to look any way the manufacturer wants them to. So once you've ascertained that it is a synthetic fiber, you have to do a chemical analysis. Sometimes we can nail it right within a 25-year period, and other times it could have been made any time in the 19th century or any time in the 18th century. There's nothing distinctive. There's certain sewing threads that were used throughout the 19th century, and then we know when certain other threads were invented and that would kick out certain periods. So you have to take several samples and then you have to check out the embellishment, find out what it's made out of. If this unfinished quilt top, if we found five pieces of polyester in the applique, we'd figure it had probably been repaired or finished at a much later date in history. You have to examine the fabrics to see what printing technique was used on them. Were they block printed, which is about the oldest method of decorating fabric? Were they copper plate printed? which started in the 18th century. Were they roller or cylinder printed, which was actually invented in the very late 18th century, but worked its way up to three colors by 1840. This helps tell us how old the printed fabrics in the quilt are. Well, this is where our job gets to be like CSI, and someone said, no, it's QSI, quilt scene investigation.